I'm sitting here in the Camas Aston Crater. It's an incredible place here in uh, northern Canada and Labrador. This is just a very cool place for us to learn about what we will find on the moon and to help figure out what we will bring back from the moon. So a bit noisy here, we're on the boat on our way out to the central uplift in the middle of the Stassen Crater. And uh, it sounds like we'll find some neat stuff, so looking forward to it. So we just stopped in this area, have quite a bit of melt rocks uh, around. You can see here, this is kind of what the fresh face of the melt rock looks like. It's very gray, very fine grained. Rock has been melted and it's all quite homogeneous. But then sometimes you get chunks of stuff in the melt rock that hasn't been melted. And you can see this very distinct white piece in the melt, and that is an orthocyte. These are some complex relationships, but they help scientists unravel the puzzle of what happened here in this crater over 30 million years ago. But it also helps us understand how we will interpret what we find on the moon and what that can tell us about the history of the moon, and more importantly, the history of our solar system and a little bit more about the universe. Had some uh, great exchanges with the Inu uh, guardians that are here in the crater with us. It's been really special. We spent three nights with them around the campfire, sharing dinner with them, and uh, hearing about their traditions, how they care for this land, and they've even helped us with our exploration, telling us about where things that they've seen in the crater are. So it's been super helpful and uh, really special to share in their culture a little bit. Very grateful for that. All right, all packed up, uh, ready to leave Camas Aston Crater. It's been a terrific stay, and uh, I'm sad to say I'm going. Really enjoyed my time here. Oh,